Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Friday's lunch menu is hot dog or blueberry muffin platter. Friday's letter will be cloudy with a high of 87 degrees. Bye, bye. Good morning, Boca Eagles. Happy Friday. It is color day, and I'm so excited to see all of you wearing your great level colors. It was a, such an awesome week. Thank you, everyone, for participating and having fun celebrating our FSA Spirit Week. Um, next week, we get down to the wire with our FSA testing getting started for third, fourth, and fifth grade next week. So we wish them all the best of luck. Thank you, everyone, for the words of encouragement and the tips and the strategies that you've shared. Yesterday, wasn't that awesome with Mr. Wiles? I listened to it like three times in a row. So good job, Mr. Wiles. Thank you so much for working so hard on that to motivate our kids here at the school. Um, today is Fact Dash Friday, so there will be a Fact Dash released in your Google Classrooms. You can keep up with that and keep practicing those. Um, next week, we will start our FSA testing for third, fourth, and fifth grade. I believe we start with uh, third grade I mean, fourth grade and fifth grade ELA reading. Um, so make sure you guys are prepared for that. Get enough rest over the weekend. Um, make sure you have a good breakfast. And uh, stay tuned. We do have a few. We actually have a few more motivational videos. So I'm going to carry those into next week. And so stay tuned for today's video for our tips from a very special class here at Boca L. And happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Mask up. Have a good day. Bye. Good morning, Boca Eagles, and happy Friday. It's going to be another great day here at Boca Raton Elementary. And I am here to talk about next week. It's an exciting week. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Yes, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. And we are going to do some very nice things to appreciate not just our teachers, but also all of the staff that works here at Boca Raton Elementary. So every day we're gonna have something special for our teachers and staff. And students on Friday is your day. It's your day to do something nice for your teacher. And some of the things you can do nice for your teacher, let's see, you can write a nice note, you could bring her a flower. You could make her a nice card or hem. Um, so do something nice for your teacher on Friday. Um, it could be any of those things or it could be something else. You could bring her in a plant. You could buy her a present. You could write her a nice email or hem. So it's up to you what you do, but just do something nice to show your teacher you appreciate him or her and all that they have done to make sure you get a good education this school year. I know you can do it. And to my teachers, please know that I appreciate you. And you're going to see next week how much I appreciate you with your surprises that you're going to get every single day. So let's have a happy Friday. Make, be kind to someone, be kind to your classmates, be careful what you say. And remember, we don't bully here at Boca Al. We don't call names, we don't threaten, we don't hit. This is an environment that should be bully free. Be kind to one another. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you're doing that, then you're probably making the right choice. So let's have a good day. And again, have a great weekend. And remember, next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Have a great day. Bye. Well, it's time for the answer to this week's science trivia question. So the question read, armadillos and coral snakes both live in Florida. When an armadillo is threatened, it can curl up. Its armored body looks like a ball. A coral snake curls its tail into a tight spiral and holds it up when an enemy is near. This attracts the enemy to its tail and protects its head. Although, although these animals are very different, what is one way in which they are similar? And they are similar. The correct answer was choice B. They have a way to protect themselves. So if you answered B, you got it. 
Look for next week's science trivia question in the Google Classroom for media. See you next week. One easy way we can make sure to keep our self and our school safe is by wearing our mask correctly. Always make sure your mask is two or more layers. It completely covers your mouth and nose, and it fits snugly with no gaps on the side.